Super Friends again. Okay. Didn't you forget to start the timer too? I hate it here. That was fun. I want to do that again. Yeah. All right. So for the next question we're doing, I'm gonna do um, a dirty, not safe for work, truth or dare generator. Okay. And so you're gonna have to answer it, no matter what it is. Okay. And. I say that, and then it gives you something actually kind of milk toast. It says, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Romantic thing, be in a relationship. That's a very weak answer, but knowing you, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy for you, pal. You. <laughs> what would be your... Okay, what's it going to give? Ah, please don't. What is your... Okay, so... Okay. I, these are not these aren't not safe for work like these are very safe for work it gave me what's your biggest turn off in a partner my partner biggest yeah. turn off <laughs> definitely ego really? I, uh, yeah, I really someone has like a... yeah like i'm all for self-confidence in fact like internally my brain for some reason like just is magnetic towards people who don't have self-confidence but here lately i'm starting to be like okay no matter what they have to be confident people <laughs> who who is okay okay obviously don't tell them but who was it like that made it well everybody like everybody well it's not them it's just me like it's nothing they did so, that makes me like oh i need someone who's confident it's because so it's a personal thing yeah. so my biggest problem in life is that i don't do things for myself yeah. very rarely do i do things because i want to do them and if there is something that i want to do for myself if somebody needs something that conflicts or um needs like done differently i will immediately I really bend over to them bounty. not because i have no backbone but because i'm a very i'm someone who's really willing to sacrifice yeah. to an unhealthy degree and so when i date someone who's not confident it makes it really difficult to not lean into bad behaviors which makes sense and like um, in high school, like, when I dated people, I was, like, it was almost like I was, like, protecting them or, like, you know, making sure that they're all right, yeah. almost like a character, yeah. not so much like a partner. And as an adult, a lot of the issues that I'm facing right now, I have developed because I've internalized my own emotions because I, my partners were people who you need to did not me. handle negative emotions. Yeah, they needed reaff reaffirming, and if I had like a negative emotion or an emotion that, that they didn't agree with, really yeah. yeah. And so it's nothing with them. It was because I didn't language. have the strength to sit there and go, "Hey, no, this is I need this for me," or like this makes me happy, or you weren't able that. to like, other, put your foot down. Yeah, their weakness made me even weaker. Okay. It was never a situation of like, oh, these these people, you know, they're they're a bunch of wussies, and I can't stand people like that. It's like no, like I like if I don't have that, I, I struggle to set proper boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, like, um, there was a bit where I was using Bumble, and I stopped because I realized that like I really needed to focus on myself. Yeah. I just it. Yeah. Like long term long term. And when I did <laughs> when I was using it, I would use it and then the moment I found someone was like just even slightly basket casey, I was just like, okay, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> no way. And then I realized and then I realized that I wasn't into a single person who wasn't that way. Yeah. And it got on my nerves. Really? So, so like, much. your type was not compatible with when you yeah. actually went. Like, I'm in. I'm into crazy. I'm into crazy people yeah. who are either emotionally stunted, emotionally vulnerable, 
<laughs> it's, just, and it's so mean to say that because it sounds like I'm like I'm like blaming them but I swear to god I'm not trying to you I just swear. don't have the gravity towards them yeah yeah <laughs> like I'm like oh this person's cool swipe right and then every time they swipe back to me it's like oh no okay I found out they're crazy <laughs> <laughs> and I just yeah and then that's, that's what made me realize that I need to focus they on myself because destroyed. I don't like normal people yeah. and I could try and like date a bajillion normal people and be bored yeah. or I can look at it like well if this is a problem where I'm the problem you know I could focus on me to develop the tools for me so that way I can you know be with the people that make me happy yeah. and actually be happy <laughs> yeah so like when you do better yourself who, who's to say that your tastes won't change, you know? But at least, at the very least, you'll be able to, like, be able to put your foot down more often than you have before. Been destroyed. You know? The thing is, is that, yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll, it's basically just boundaries. Like, it's yeah. basically be, me being, like, I need to be able to set my own boundaries. Because, like, the problem would be is that, like, no matter how big or how small, I would just completely negate any boundaries I put for myself. Like, I would be like, okay, yeah, I can't stop whatever I'm doing to help this person emotionally. Or like, you know, I need to be able to express my emotions without worrying that their my negative emotions will give them yeah. even worse negative emotions. Like, I'll say that, and then in the moment they I just stop doing that. And then I st <laughs> But <laughs> that's my biggest turn off right now. But it's also my biggest turn off because, of course, it is. Time to destroy the You're quirky with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm quirky. All right, next one for death. you. Uh, what's the best feature of the question asker? Oh, what's my best feature? Best feature. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. You just don't know when to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have to go to show that you're resilient. Now I'm resilient. I'm determined. Yes. Yes. I won't. I don't know when to stop asking. You to play Black Ops 3. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Yeah, what about mine? Uh, I. That's sorry. That's not my question. What? Sorry. Uh, uh, that's not my question. Okay. Is that, yeah, we, we were switching great. between them. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's one? <laughs> okay, well, I'll I'll actually I'll actually answer that one just so you know we can rub each other's back. Huh? I think for you, if I had to say your best feature is also your worst feature, yeah. and I think you could probably say the same way that uh, me not knowing when to give up is kind of a double-edged sword as well. But I think you're very easy going, and for me. That is simultaneously your best and worst feature. Really? Is it like to yeah. the extreme kind of thing? Yeah. Because like for me, I've I've really like I've only had a really intense friends, and it's something else that like caused me to not really have the ability to do things for myself. Yeah. And coincidentally, becoming friends with you has put me in an environment. Where you're honestly worse at it than I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, How? Uh, the thing is, is that, like, I've most of my friends are people I who I give and I don't take. Yeah. Like, I'm always giving them my time, giving them my energy, giving them my advice, and it's all it's. The ratio of like how I take, whether that because of the people they are or because the way of my own insecurities, I don't really take much from yeah. them. But because of the way that you are, the way you are, it's really hard to give you anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then it is to take. And it's kind of the same way where it's really hard for you to take things from yeah. people than it is for you to give them, you know. I feel I and I feel like that's true. Because of that, this it rock. feels it's the it type of friendship that I'm not place. used to having. And that's 
there's situations where I'm like, come on, Chaz, just tell the person no. But then there's plenty of times where it feels like I'm actually allowed to ask things yeah. from you where I didn't feel that way towards a lot of other people. And so then the challenge becomes of like, well, you know, how do I have that in a more healthy way as well? But yeah, that's that's that. It's pretty interesting, yeah. you know? Yeah, it totally makes yeah. sense. And I'm going to be honest, I, I, I guess I'm at that kind of point in my life where I'm okay with the way I am. Yeah. I'm at a point where I'm like, I'm okay with where I am, but I'm trying a lot harder to be more. Yeah. Because that's the, it feels like since I graduated high school, I dedicated my life to becoming okay with my life. Yeah. And then because of that, I kind of like ruined a lot of things. And so it feels like I'm just now starting to be like more than okay. Where it's like, well, like, yeah, I don't want to be just okay anymore. I want to be like, I want to pursue things wanna and I want to be happy. I want to thrive. Yeah. And, you know, part of my, uh, the issue of just being kind of like always giving and never taking was, is that like things are more okay if I always give and never yeah. take. Because when I start to take, you know, that can make someone upset or, you know, blah, 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 blah. So. Okay. Makes sense. 